The Great Coonskin Caper of Multiple C. The Great Coonskin Caper of Multiple C was as silly a caper as capers can be. It started out small, then it grew by the yard. What should have been simple had soon turned quite hard. There were two little boys who lived on the same block. Then a third boy moved in, and they started to talk. Would he break up their friendship? What would he be like? Was he showing off, doing neat tricks on his bike? I don't think I like him. Just watch him out there. Things were just fine till his family moved here. I think we should show him that we're still the best. No one can top us from east or from west. The boys started planning and plotting so fast that soon it was lunchtime. The morning had passed. They worked out a plan that was soon known to be the great coonskin caper of multiple C. An old coonskin cap that they found in a chest would start out this plan. Yes, it would work best. The new boy would wear it on top of his head while riding his bike on a course he should dread. The course was the hardest one they'd ever seen, and it sure took some planning to really be mean. The cap was the prize, and the boys wrote the clues for the scavenger hunt that this new boy would lose. They'd act like his friend for a weekend or so, then they'd brag of a clubhouse so he'd want to go. They'd tell him that others had tried hard to join, but joining was more than just flipping a coin. He'd find all the clues in this great coonskin cap, and while wearing the cap, make the clues form a map. They'd take him too close to a nest full of bees, and then make him crawl under an old fallen tree. He had to go uphill and downhill and then pluck feathers from chickens and old mother hens. He was shown a big list of things starting with C, and from this long list, he was told to choose three. There were cameras that won't flash and small yellow cats. There were three circus tickets and large cowboy hats. An antique Coke bottle, a big round cobweb, or a drawing of scary witch castles instead. Well, he looked at the sea list and put on the cap. He straightened right up, smiled, and said, I'll be back. He hopped on his bike and then, just as he should, said he would return with the list if he could. At first, they both smiled as he rode out of sight. Then they laughed at the thought of that kid on his bike. They played and they waited and had a good time poking fun at the new kid. Now things would be fine. He pedaled and rode down the curved parkway path. He got stuck in the mud and knew he'd need a bath. The old tree was ragged. It ripped his new shirt. He almost got free till the branch gave a jerk. The nest full of bees was way up in the tree. It was more than a stretch and he scraped up his knee. He climbed way up high till the branch nearly broke and the bees were so thick that he thought he would choke. But while high in the tree, he looked over the hill, and the sight that he saw really gave him a thrill. For there in the distance behind a long fence were people just setting up huge circus tents. He found an old cowboy and borrowed his hat, with the promise that someday he'd bring it right back. He watched the fat man with a bald, shiny head and almost walked into a big round cobweb. The three circus tickets were easy to find. They were right on the ground. People left them behind. But cameras that don't flash don't always appear. The one just got dropped and was kicked very near. An antique Coke bottle was drawn on a sign that looked like it aged and cracked badly with time. The circus was known for its large all-star cast who worked the witch castle and scared you real fast. The funniest things were the flea and the gnat, who were noisily chased by a small yellow cat. But the afternoon over, the sun going down, he climbed on his bike and then rode back to town. Curious thing, though, he saw on the way, was an old wooden clubhouse that wobbled and swayed. It was perched on the branch of an old gnarly tree, and he whispered, It's perfect for those guys and me. 
Excitement helped pedal his feet even faster. He rode back to town with a plan they could master. The clubhouse was great. It just had to be fixed with a hammer, some nails, several boards, and some bricks. The hours soon passed and the day was all gone. Where could he be? Why did it take him so long? The list was outrageous and that was a fact. But where was he now? And why wasn't he back? They started to worry, for now it was dark, and things sure looked different at night in the park. Then, all of a sudden, they saw a tired smile. He must have been riding for quite a long while. What a strange-looking sight, that young kid in the cap. He looked like he'd spent the day caught in a trap. He was proud of himself, it was easy to see, with a shirt that was ripped and pants torn at the knee. It's been quite a workout, he started to say. It was hard because everything got in the way. I really worked hard and housed this for a twist. Instead of just three things, I finished the list. The list was all crumbled, the bag really stuffed. To get all the things must have really been tough. So what do they say now? How do they explain that they made up the clubhouse and played a mean game? I moved here from Boston and left all my friends. I felt so alone when the fun had to end. Then I saw you two playing and knew right away that we all could be friends by the end of the day. Your clubhouse sounds great and I'm so glad to be a part of your club. He scratched at his knee. Their faces had fallen. Was this kid for real? Becoming his friend wasn't part of the deal. They felt so ashamed at the trick they had played. Instead of just leaving, the new boy had stayed. He passed the test. They could no longer stall. They'd better confess. There was no club at all. I hate to say this. You'll probably be mad. I hope it won't hurt you or make you feel sad. The list was a joke and the club isn't real. We just didn't stop. Didn't think how you'd feel. We thought you were showing off riding your bike. You just didn't look like a kid we could like. We couldn't have known that you wanted new friends. And we just never guessed that the fun doesn't end. I found us a clubhouse. It's right down the lane. You don't have to worry. There's really no blame. You didn't know me and maybe you'll find that more friends are good friends. And that's the best kind. You be the president. You've earned it by far. We'll call it the coonskin. No one will be barred. We'll back you up and help fix up the place. We'll make it real nice. It won't be a disgrace. In fact, when it's ready for people to see, we'll give them a tour. First you and then me. We'll be the first members and this is no jest. Everyone's welcome from east or from west. The boys made a pact that would last for all time. Clubs like the Coonskin are real hard to find. Their friendship was treasured and memories grew. A round that old cap and a new clubhouse 